that. Yeah, I bet you got Latin roots, you sexy bitch. Hey, did you get enough change to get a Slurpee? Oh, there aren't even any quarters. Good credit, bad credit, ugly credit. None of that matters here at Eastwood Motors. No credit goes unforgiven here. Even if you're a man with no name, you can drive off this lot today for just a fistful of dollars. Are you a pale rider or a high plains drifter? Either way, you can cross the desert wastelands in this sweet breezy. With cars as low as $2,000, we can hang them high and praise the Lord. And we do paint jobs too. So go ahead and bring in your Bronco, Billy, and we'll paint your wagon. And for a few dollars more, we'll throw in the Duke McLaughlin fish toaster. And that's a deal that you can't beat. Eastwood Motors is located at 1930 Gunsmoke Lane, just west of Durango and north of Abilene. You gotta ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do ya? Well, you're going to here at Eastwood Motors. I know what you're thinking. Does he have five deals or six? Well, I've got eight. Just like this here, the 2005 Wagon Queen 44 Mag. Its exhaust can blow your head clean off. But you shouldn't be standing behind it. You should be driving away in it. Eastwood Motors made my day! Eastwood Motors made my day! And Eastwood Motors made his day fantastico! Say habla espanol! Let Eastwood Motors make your day, or I'll blow your goddamn legs off. Eastwood Motors is located at 1930 Gunsmoke Lane, just west of Durango and north of Abilene. Closed captioning provided in part by the Universal Coalition for the Betterment of White Folk. Hey there, kids! It's time for Kimmy's Cookie Corner! This is Kimmy from Kimmy's Cookie Corner. Woo! Today, I'd like to take us back to when times were better. The good old days of the 50s. Here's a poem called Polite Society.
The year is 1776, and the Founding Fathers, and Thomas Jefferson, have gathered in the colony's finest outhouse to chart the future of America. What is he doing here? Well, uh, you see, uh, well, what I wanted to do was get the, the most important columns here to discuss how we want to forge this new nation of ours. So we have, well, Ben Franklin, John Hancock, and myself. George Washington and, well, Jefferson here just kind of followed me home from the daycare center. Hey! No! Oh, oh, uh, damn it, Washington, how can we have to have all the secret meetings on the colony's Don't smallest shitter? Damn it, man, no, you nothing of secrecy! Also, I had a... a, a, a real King George brewing, if you... Catch my meaning. Uh, third one today, Franklin. The British shan't disturb us in here, lest they risk a fate worse than death itself. Occupado, occupado. We need to discuss how we want to forge this new nation for the citizens' benefit. Uh, of course, the, the great country that we create will only provide opportunities for the best and the brightest to become our future politicians and businessmen. Too true, too true. Yes, and of course, with Healthcare, we should have no problems providing that for free to our citizens, seeing as how the most a doctor ever really needs is a rusty scalpel and a bottle of scotch. That's a very good point. Uh, free the slaves! Free the slaves? What? One step at a time, my dear Jefferson. Don't be so retarded. Alright, stop it, stop it. Alright, stop it, you guys. You know he's the smartest man in the stop it. Potato! Excellent point, Jefferson. We do need to write these ideas down in a declaration of sorts for future citizens to reference. Alright, decoration. What is this crap? Yeah, uh, yes. What? Oh, oh, Jeff. Oh, Jeff. Jefferson, you know, this is. This is wonderful, you know, this is why. Oh, Jefferson. Hey. Jefferson, yes, of course, everybody. Let's all sign this declaration that our good friend Jefferson wrote. Now. <laughs> Washington, if you wouldn't mind, just turning her up. And of course, of course, everybody, remember to sign seven or eight times so we can give this shindig a little legitimacy. Franklin, mm. are you drawing balls again? God damn it, Franklin. <sighs> damn it, Hancock, you're signing too big. I haven't even got to the cock yet, Washington. Oh, now we'll have no room for our, our health care. I wouldn't worry about it, my good man. Future presidents will be smart enough to figure out exactly what we had in mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate you, Jefferson. I really hate you. Are you still driving some rice-burning escapade from Japan around? Do your friends still call you sissy boy? And you drive around in your pink Cadillac. Do they avoid riding with you any which way they can? Well, that's a true crime. Come get a taste of absolute power in the testosterone-fueled Chevy Enforcer. Erections may last for more than four hours. Or come check out our Gran Torino. She's our million-dollar baby. All our cars come standing with they see to help you beat the city heat. So get off your couch, come by a goddamn car. You can drive every which way but loose. Here at Eastwood Motors, we'll help you go where eagles dare to soar. Eastwood Motors is located at 1930 Gunsmoke Lane, just west of Durango and north of Abilene. Action. Give a damn about your fucking car. And just for a few dollars more, I'll throw in this dupe McLaughlin <laughs> fish fucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Oh, the fucking camera's rolling.
shit. God damn it. Oh, shit. Dance, Grandpa, dance! This is the most ridiculous thing we filmed yet. Are you filming that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you bet. Did you know that I was in a movie called Breezy? You know I don't carry my tassels anymore. <laughs> so dark days. <laughs> you wanna be a star, don't you, Denny? <laughs> I don't know, throwing peanut shells. I haven't even got to the cock yet, Washington.